man gone. Now can I get a cook with my rum? Three six nine girls wanna drink wine. Tell them I'm not. with me for Valentine's Day. This is my very first time hosting since getting married and moving in with my husband. And of course, I want everything to be perfect for my girls. I was planning on doing an Italian themed night, so I bought these super cute Italian themed plates that I'm actually obsessed with. I'm cooking pasta and it's only fair that my plates match the dishes. We're topping it off with a little bit of red wine and some limes. I cannot wait to host. If we ever broke up, I'll never be sad. Think about everything I thought we had if we ever broke up. Shittiest of things you said if we ever broke up Set up a cute little Galentine's party for the girls, gays, and theys. I got these balloons from Amazon and hung them up as sort of a backdrop moment. I'm just doing the classic red and pink with hearts everywhere theme for the whole setup of this party, so it was pretty easy to find stuff to go with the theme. On the invitation, I said it was gonna be a comfy girls night in, so I had to make it extra cozy by adding extra pillows and blankets to the couch. And I even got these fuzzy socks for everyone from Marshalls and laid those out too. And is it really a party if you don't have some sort of charcuterie board in there somewhere? So of course I had to do a Valentine's themed charcuterie board, just mixing in all of the pink and red themed snacks that the stores have right now while also adding in some savory things like meats and cheeses. Strawberries and chocolate are classic for Valentine's Day, so we set up the chocolate fountain. And then I had a few different themed drinks, a non-alcoholic Cupid's Punch, as well as this chocolate strawberry shot and a raspberry sorbet champagne drink with a secret surprise. You guys will have to stay tuned to my upcoming content to see all the details and the full breakdown for that. But then I 
I just went ahead and jazzed up the rest of the place with a few more decorations. You can get a lot of this stuff on Amazon, so I will have everything saved to my Amazon storefront, which you can find at the link in my bio. And then I asked all my friends what their favorite candy was, and then I made these custom little goodie boxes with their names on it and put their candy selections inside. Just a nice little personalized touch. And here's how everything kind of turned out. The charcuterie board was looking real cute with all the pink and red treats. The balloons were a nice touch, I think. And basically I just tried to make everything match the pink and red color scheme with the socks, the blankets. I even had a red bean bag. Our main course was actually chicken and waffles. We had heart-shaped waffles with chicken and all the toppings and fixins. Everything turned out really cute and I was especially proud of all of my little themed drinks. Again, stay tuned to see the details on that. And the other big thing was that I set up a hoodie customizing station with my Cricut maker where every guest was able to make their own design and iron it onto their own hoodie. Again, be on the lookout for more posts with more details, but that's pretty much how 